<laughs> Hello everyone, Lord Pasta here, and welcome to another episode of the Kerbal Craft Review. Uh, today we'll be reviewing a craft made by Whistling Death, the IZ Mark I. So here it is, it's a small plane. Um, it's got four engines, very interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, test it out, see its flying capabilities, and you know, just overall uh, <clears throat> look at its uh, what what its positives are. So it has 41 par 51 parts, oops, uh, 51 parts right there, and it weighs 7.4 tons. So very light and very few part counts. This should be a very easy plane to fly. Although I didn't look at the. Uh, center of mass to center of list, um, lift uh, graph, but uh, uh, I'm just assuming based on the weight and part count. So here we have the, uh, the notable thing that happens every single time. So flight to launch. It's just a black screen that happens every single time. The Kraken goes wild. So here we go, we'll just place it down on the runway, activate that SAS, very good, and uh, throttle up. So here we go, turning on the engines now, uh, should be going rather well. Getting up to speed uh, a little bit on the slow side, but I assume that will... Uh, Increase as the engines, you know, rev up. I'm gonna give it a little bit of pull. Up. It does look like it has a lot of uh, wing surfaces on it, so that will be uh, something that could, uh, you know, allow it to pull up quicker than usual. So here we go. We are off the ground. Look at that. That is uh, pretty good. So I'll just bring in those landing gears, and uh, you know, just move the plane around a little bit. Pulling up seems a bit on the hard side, but nothing uh, too extreme. I'll just try controlling uh, like some other ways. So let's just do like a bank or something of that nature. I'm gonna pull around this way. And we'll go down and do a flyby the uh, the buildings here. Hopefully, again the uh, I might I I I'm just guessing I'm not going to be able to do that because the pulling up is quite slow. Now look at this. I hope that I can pull the craft up, but I'm probably not. Look at that. I'm probably going to hit the ground. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And there we go, crash. I called it. So, uh, um, I'll just revert flight to uh, launch again. And, uh, we'll try for a landing. There we go. And just, you know, the same thing as usual. And this time we're going to try and land it. So one thing to look look into is the uh, pulling up. I know uh, you can't really do much about the uh, wobbling left and right. That's fine on this craft. Uh, uh, as I was pointed out in uh, some other videos, uh, you, you can't really do much to control the right and right and left uh, like movement of the craft. But of course, the up and down. I think you could look into that and uh, see some different designs. And might, that might help with the maneuverability of this craft. So here we are. We're up to speed. I'm just going to bring it up off the ground, do a loop, and then bring it on back down to the same way. So here we go. Pulling it up. Just as usual. We're going to put it 
all the way upside down and bring it all the way back to the end down over here and bring it in for a landing. That's the game plan for that. So here we are going in. I'm going to turn off the engine. Wait, I should have probably uh, dove down before I did. Oh snap! Yeah, uh, the the up and down control is is not in the right place for me to turn it around back to land on the runway. Or at least that's how it seems. So I'm gonna have to just uh, I'm gonna have to just you know go in like this. Hopefully I have enough land here. I probably do. So let's just uh, bring it on down closer to the ground so that I can pull up and lose some of the speed. There we go. I'm going to have to start now. I'm going to activate the brakes just in case. Toggle those brakes. We're not losing speed at a tremendously good uh, rate. on 40 that's not good enough all right that might do it that might do it there we go looks like we're down very good a nice smooth landing there was a little bit of a tip there but that was uh, controlled and there we go so it's a successful craft uh, it takes off it lands the one biggie though is to look into the control up and down uh, very interesting how the craft can move right and left and all that stuff very easily, but uh, also pulling up and down. Also down, too. It's it's not just up, it's down as well. So, our flight to the space plant hangar, we're going to look into some of the, the different things, like the, uh, the overlays here, and then I'll give my final thoughts. You know, this has been a, a nice little episode. I haven't been doing these uh, as often as I want to. And to be honest, uh, I really am losing interest in uh, KSP. It's, it's just been, uh, you know, going for such a long time now. It feels like none of the oomph is, is with it anymore. But I'll continue to do it uh, from time to time. I'll con continue to do these craft reviews. I might even show off some of my own crafts, uh, you know. So don't expect me to be just, like, quitting KSP. That's, that's never the way that it was. But anyways, looking at it here, um, that's actually pretty good. I, I don't really have anything to say about that. Uh, that's pretty much spot on. So I'm just going to exit out of there. And so anyways, the, one, the IZ Mark One, very interesting craft, very basic design. Uh, you know, not much I can say for that. Uh, I like how you use these small engines, although... They're not very efficient. Uh, well, they are efficient, but they're not very fast. They don't provide enough power. Uh, it, it would uh, be preferable if you could use like a larger engine. But that's just for speed, and I know you're not going for like speed or stuff like that. Uh, anyways, other than that, work on uh, up and down. So, uh, yeah, like pulling up and down, that kind of stuff. Side to side is all right. Everything's pretty much good there nothing to worry about, uh, but, you know, just a few suggestions. Anyways, I have been Lord Pasta. This has been the IZ Mark I craft designed by Whistling Death. Uh, the YouTube link is down in the description if you want to check them out. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.